Hello, and welcome to my review 48 hours later with the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Now, if you remember in my previous video, I had said that I was totally fine with the Pixel 9 and all of its features and AI functionality and stuff like that. But I got down to the 14th day in the last two hours, and before it became permanent, I was like, you know what? I want to try the upgraded features. So I decided to return it and go with what you see here, which is actually the Pixel 9 Pro XL. So it's the bigger screen. Now, the only reason why I went with this is because currently T-Mobile is doing a promotion um, that the Pixel 9 Pro and the Pixel 9 Pro XL starting storage of 256 on T-Mobile is the same price. So why not pay that? you know, thousand dollar price of the device and get the bigger one compared to having to spend the extra $200 to get to that model. So I did it. And so far, absolutely love it. Um, it's a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be, but for what you get in the way of a bigger battery, is just in my eyes for the same price is worth it and it's not as uncomfortable to hold i feel like the um width of the device is only a hair bigger than the nine was but it is definitely taller so you had 6.3 inch on the nine and now you're at 6.8 inches with the pro xl so um, but yeah, software wise, it runs the same. It has two features I really want to try, um, zoom and enhance and then video boost. Um, those are two things that are only available on the pro series. Um, but then you also get more Ram. And that was one thing I noticed that when I was scrolling through my photos is that the videos and the photos thumbnails had to reload as you scrolled really fast. I noticed that's not a thing on the uh, Pro line, just because you have, I think, four more gigs of RAM, and they they have a designated, like, four or five gigs of the RAM that's designated to Gemini, like, all the time, no matter what. So, um, anyways, really good phone, and uh, I just wanted to give you that short little review. Um, obviously, the... Um, aluminum like frosted not frosted but just like that feel of the other style compared to the stainless steel looking it's it, I feel like it's a little bit more slippery if I say that correctly but I do like the frosted glass I have the official google case for now that may or may not go back um, if I get a case that's comparable to what I got for the nine which has the um MagSafe on the back so that I can mount it to the car mount in my car. So we'll have to wait and see. But I absolutely love this because the metal on the back matches the metal here on the uh, pill shape. Along so matches the color of the buttons. They match the actual, well, I guess that same, um, you know, pill shape color and everything. So it's that same metal, which is really great. And it gives it a little bit more grip in your hand. So, yeah, it's nice. It's good. All right. Uh, I think that's it for now. Um, I mean, there's a lot more reviews out there. I just want people to have a jive for why I decided to do that simple little upgrade to the bigger size and why I went with the XL instead of the normal size because the pricing was exactly the same. So, anyways, um, look forward to my next video, which I thought would be before this. But I actually just received my Google Watch. Uh, I paid off my Ultra, my Apple Ultra Watch. And I'm, you know, taking this next year of devices and I'm going to stick with the Pixel line. So I wanted to get the watch to go with it because even though I love the Ultra, um, not having it connected to a phone, you lose out on all those features of like messaging and things popping up and notifications. Um, so... It just makes more sense that I would pick this up and team these up together. Now, I think this can be used on Apple. You obviously lose features. The funny thing is you can't use the Pixel with Apple. 
That's just straight up an Apple product for an Apple product. But I know Android and Wear OS and stuff should work across Apple devices, which I probably will at some point try that just because. But uh, yeah, lots of cool things going on. So look forward to this pretty much uh, right after or soon after you'll get that posting up there too. So anywho, have a great night. Thank you again for checking out my quick little 48 hour review with this. I know I think I had a review with the Pixel 9 and with there not being a terrible amount of change, um, it kind of all stands up to the software and I'm running 15 and things like that. So anyways, check out all my videos in the past to get more information. If you have any questions, comment below, subscribe and like. Thanks. Bye.